Hello, everyone. There won't be any long introductions today. Instead, I'll just tell you why baboons steal small puppies and what they do with them. And after you watch the video, it's up to you to decide whether you like it and subscribe to our channel. Enjoy! Once upon a time, baboons lived in the mountains and steppes of eastern Africa. As highly developed creatures, they have long learned to appreciate the benefits of living next to humans and move closer to civilization. This created considerable problems for tourists and local residents. A troop of baboons consisted of about 60 to 80 individuals. Led by the councils of the leaders, usually three to four of the most respected males, the troop raids fields and gardens, break into houses, and rob cars. The most baboon-rich areas are patrolled by special police with paintball guns, but they don't always have time to come to the rescue. All residents and travelers are warned that, upon encountering a baboon, it's better to just give it whatever it wants, as these animals are aggressive and unpredictable. Baboons are very fond of city dumps, as it's the easiest way for them to get food. Their main competitor is the hyena dog. These wild dogs also prefer to stay in large packs, and they also don't like to work hard for their food. If the two kinds of animals meet, it often ends in a fight and not a shared dinner. Having lived next to people for a long time, baboons couldn't help but adopt some useful innovations. For example, they understood how people use dogs, and now they also have pets. Moreover, they realized that they can't tame an adult dog, so baboons only steal small puppies from local farmers or from stray dogs. The pack doesn't offend the puppy. They feed it and play with it. As the puppy grows up, it becomes the monkey's friend and protector. It follows the troop everywhere and works with other pet dogs to chase wild dogs away from the dumps, while the baboons search for something edible. This honorable role doesn't give dogs any status in the troop. Baboons don't perceive it as a relative or an equal. They only see it as a useful pet. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.